Yo, yo, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? All right, so basically today what I wanted to do was go through and show you guys how to go through and get uh, images within Ranger File Manager, as well as have a transparent terminal uh, for it. As you guys may know, uh, Xterm, if I go through and actually, uh, I don't want to launch that one here. Uh, I'm going to put that there. Uh, so if I go ahead and just open up a terminal here, I can launch Xterm here, X-T-E-R-M, and you'll see that Xterm itself is transparent. And the only thing that Ranger uh, can use, if I do R-A-N-G-E-R, Ranger here, I can use Ranger here, you'll see that Ranger is a uh, file manager, okay, and you can, you know, go through the various things, and you can actually set it up to view images. So if I go ahead and find Lazy Share, I go to pictures and then I go to background and I just find something like so you see that I've got my image previews set up so that I can go through and of course uh, view images which is pretty handy if you want to have you know file manager to deal with viewing images while in the terminal okay uh, but as you see it's not really a pretty terminal I mean it's kind of a straightforward terminal it's very dark and all that and and uh, I don't know if I can zoom in can I zoom in I cannot but nope nope Okay, I didn't want to do that. Anyway, so um, you get my point, though. I can probably zoom in this way. No, I can't. Okay, well, uh, you guys get my point. This is Xterm. It's a dark terminal. You can't really make it pretty. So I'm going to show you guys how to go through and make it, it pretty as well as get the uh, Ranger File Manager to be able to view images. Okay? So first things first, you're going to want to go through and install some packages here. I'm going to actually go open up uh, Terminator here because Terminator is going to be a little bit better for viewing here. Uh, if I can actually find it, System Tools, Terminator here, and then I'm going to at least uh, expand like so here, and then Shift plus this. Okay, and you guys should be able to see this relatively well. Okay, so first things you want to do is actually go through and run sudo uh, apt-get uh, install, okay, ranger obviously given that you're going to be using that as a file manager terminal file manager uh, w3m dash imag tab to auto complete it should actually tab to auto complete img not imag excuse me uh, x term just in case you don't have it installed you probably do have it installed but just in case put that in there as well so ranger w3m image x term and D E V I L S tab to autocomplete uh, Devil's Pie. So Devil's Pie is basically a uh, essentially like an injector to Windows that you can set up settings to so that when you launch a window you can actually do things like make it transparent, etc. Okay? So you just go through tap uh, enter to install, type in your password if you need to, and obviously go ahead and enter and you you know go through and install it. I've already got everything installed, so let's proceed. Okay. So now what we need to do is C D, okay to, and I'm actually drawing a blank on this uh, location here, it's, uh, uh, well, we will want to go through and do cd to devil's pie, so let's go ahead and just set up the devil's pie information here, so cd dot d-e-v-i-l-s, devil's pie, and then uh, nano, and if I uh, double tap, t if I double tap tab, it'll actually automatically fill it in for me here. Opacity.ds. So if you don't have opacity.ds within uh, your dot devils uh, d e v i l. Well, oh wait, no, yeah, it is devils pie. Excuse me. Uh, if you don't have dot devils pie. Uh, the directory in your home directory, just create that directory. From there, just create the document opacity.ds. And then obviously use nano, vi, or whatever uh, terminal command you want to use to open that. And then we're going to put in a rule that when x term opens, we're going to make it partially transparent. Okay? So, go ahead and just use parentheses here, uh, like so. Okay? And then we're going to do if. Okay? Then I'm just going to space it a little bit so we can make things pretty here. Like so. Okay? One, two, three, four. Okay. And then uh, if or, okay, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, about so, parentheses, okay. In the uh, parentheses here, we're going to type in uh, space C O N T A I N S, uh, parentheses again, okay, space here, uh, application, A P P L I C A T I O N underscore N-A-M-E, 
Okay, we're going to move outside of the parentheses. In fact, we need you probably should just put some parentheses here. I think you have to. Have, I think it's parentheses specific, or excuse me, space specific, but I could be mistaken. But I'm going to kind of keep things nice and do it like so. Okay, and then quote or uh, uh, quotation marks. Okay, and then I'm just going to type in x t e r m. I'm just going to do space here. Okay, and then uh, once we've done that, go ahead and one two three four. We're going to do another set of parentheses. Okay, Oop, that's brackets. Another set of uh, parentheses, two, three, four, and we're going to do uh, space B E G I N, okay, and then one, two, three, four, or whatever, and like so. More sets of parentheses to a new line, like so, so that we have it. As you can see, the parentheses are like blocking indicators, okay, and then we're just going to do uh, one, two, three, four, and then we're going to do uh, S P A W N. Uh, underscore a s y n c async and then parentheses okay space and then from there we're going to do s t r and then quotations or uh, uh, yeah quotations and then from there uh, let's say t r a n s s e t tac i okay and then space or uh, uh, you know, outside of or get, go outside of the quotations, and then we're going to do space parentheses, okay, and then w i n d o w, and then uh, we're going to do over here window uh, id I think it is yes yeah I think it's id yep let's do id x id x window id okay, and then here we're going to give it the value for the degree of transparency so I'm going to say uh, something like 0 0.85, 0 0.85, actually I'll do 80, I think 80 would be even better, so about 80, um, about, you know, 20, or 80% 80 level opacity, okay, so obviously as you may guess, it's a range from 1 to 0, and 0 point whatever is going to be that degree of transparency, okay, and then, uh, if we've set everything up here, so we've got the parentheses, we've got our blocks, the if block, the or block, the begin block, and then from there just we're spawning an asynchronous check for the uh, string, we're doing a transit set or whatever to the window ID, and setting it to be 0 0.80 in terms of the, uh, uh, um, what is it, the... <coughs> the the window color the window transparency okay so just do control o enter if you're a nano control x and you should be good to go okay and then if i actually go ahead and just launch and i don't want to change that up here i launch like so if i just launch x term here x t e r m you'll see for a second here that it's still black okay so i'm going to just go ahead and click on this control c to kill it i'm going to type in d e v i l s devil's pie I'm going to do ampersand, okay? And then actually when we go ahead and launch xterm, you will should see uh, xterm fail request bad window, invalid window parameter, major opcode failed request, next op query, resource ID and failed requests. Oops, let's see. What did I type incorrectly here? Uh, okay, so if or... And then we do just contains, and then we do application name, uh, and then x term. Yep, and then we do another one for begin, and then we do spawn async, and then. Uh, oh, 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 okay, okay. Well, no, no, no. We do have, let's see here. We have, uh, or, oh, 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 okay, I think what I wanted to do was, I'm missing a parenthesis somewhere here, and I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> so, we have the spawn async, and, um, let's do, let's try to do this. Um, it doesn't really matter, I think, actually, the lining, let's see here. So, spawn async, we have that. For 0.85, just close that out here. We have that closed properly. Okay. So we do if or begin, begin, and one more close. Yeah, we should do one, two, three. 
what am I missing? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out here, guys. Give me a second. I'm now I'm gonna have to go. I think I'm gonna have to go through and look through my notes to see what it was again. Um. Uh. If or contain C O N T A I N S A P P L I C A T I O N underscore name quotations X term ending parentheses that block then we do begin and then we have string transit oh okay well, let me see here okay so this is spawn async okay this may be a problem here let me look at how this is set up a little bit better here you have okay spawn underscore a s y n c a s y n c and then string and trans trans set attack i for quotations and then i d x window uh window x i d w i n d o w underscore x i d 0.85 i mean looking through my notes it shows a space there there isn't really much of a difference it's like one two like so then we have the begin and then we have the ending parenthesis for here so the if block the or block the begin block and then the individual rule set and it really shouldn't matter the spacing honestly like you could do all that on the same line like so but it shouldn't control o enter control x on devil's pie and then do devil's pie and then run x term there we go okay I don't know what it was um maybe I was missing a parenthesis and I accidentally added in there but you can see now that the uh, x terminal is faintly transparent uh, as you may be able to see like so okay so next thing that we're gonna need to do uh, I'm just gonna go control C here for this I uh, just CD back to my home directory here and I'm gonna see if I can find um, the command that I set up for this I don't remember what I used it was uh, CD I need to nano okay so nano dot config ranger RC conf okay so uh, so nano dot C O N config ranger and then rc.conf, rc.conf. In rc.conf for ranger, type in set space preview underscore images space true, as you see like so. Okay. Just control O, control X, and you're good to go. Okay. And then if you go ahead and launch X term, I'm going to go ahead and just launch X term with a partial and now tra you know, transparent GUI. I'm going to type in, I'm going to ranger okay enter and now if I go ahead and go to um, you know obviously the images will have a beautiful little setup for transparent ranger terminal if I could find where my images are where is it lazy share there it is and then pictures and then in background and wallpapers boom and we have now you know transparent you know X terminal that looks pretty good. I think it's, um, you know, it kind of beats it. It's not as uh, feature rich as, say, Terminator, I think, but, you know, for tabbing options. But seriously, it does look good. Uh, I don't, Terminator doesn't have this functionality, to my knowledge, uh, to be able to use uh, view images. And the reason being the terminal type, the way it was created, doesn't have a comply with certain um, uh, standards that X term complies with. And so you can't do, you know, vim view viewing images and all that. Obviously, if you click on the image itself, it'll bring it up into an image viewer of its own, you know, the standard standalone image viewer. But it's a very cool way of just clicking on images with your mouse as well, by the way. I can, you know, click on these images. I can scroll, use my mouse wheel, scroll up, etc. It's a really just cool way of viewing images within a terminal um, file manager without having to go through and launch an image manager of its own accord. Uh, and I will go ahead and quickly just test and see if uh, Ranger does the same thing in... Uh, Terminator, I don't think it does here. If I go through just quickly, quickly go to pictures and background, and then yeah, see, it doesn't show it. So, yeah, Terminator doesn't have the same type of um, 
compliance thing that, it, that Ranger does to be able to view images within its own field. But still, it's a very cool little thing that I wanted to show you guys so that you could get a very sexy looking terminal that's transparent with, of course, the ability to, to, ability to essentially view images within your terminal in a terminal-based file manager. Thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, tell me what you think, and I'll talk to you guys later.